welcome back to Flatcast. We're all doing the area the spirits mint. All right, what? Oh. Well, one of these has to be Grandma. Just had to figure out which one. Oh, I could hit those. Oh, I can't roll. Nope. Oh, it's getting darker. Yeah, the spirits are around. They're taking up your light. Well, stop taking my light. Whew. Well, they gotta figure out how to show up somehow. Hmm. Is there there's more still more? in your energy. See, these Back away! The, oh, these are all the bees you killed. Back your spirits! Oh, don't touch that. Hey! <laughs> or them. Ah! Oh, they killed me. Well, I'm one of you now. Please. Then, spirit grandma. <laughs> oh, we were far. Yeah. Take that, ghost. <laughs> Fear that your psychic powers have awakened. Oh, yeah. Harriet. Is that all you say? <laughs> Is it you, Grandma? Did you come from the spirit world to save me from the spirit world? <laughs> yes. That's a meteorite. <laughs> Wake up! I don't want to. It's like three in the morning. Cool. Finally. Hmm. Who's talking? Dad, is that you? Or are you trying to wake me up again? Here. Under the bed. Look at me. Huh? <laughs> the bear. No. A ferret? Ah, a good ghost. Shh. Not so loud. <laughs> We don't want to wake up your parents. I can assure you, I am not a ghost. Yes, you are. You're all see-through and stuff. Although I understand my looks may hit otherwise. I don't know what the hell you're trying to go for. Flaccid. <laughs> Flaccid? No. I must be dreaming. How he looks. A ferret? I'm afraid you're wide awake. Uh, I'm still asleep. Unfortunately, the situation has dedicated, dictated, dictated that I reveal myself ahead of time. So why not tomorrow? Huh? What? What do you mean? I could have been sleeping right now. Cool, Harriet. <laughs> I have known you for a long time. And I have not known you at all. Although you haven't seen me before. I have been hiding in the shadows through most of your life. Are you a stalker? I have <laughs> waited many years for this moment. Why? I never wanted a pet ferret. Listen carefully and quietly. <laughs> I have something important to tell you. Hmm. <laughs> well, Grandma's not dead? My name is Arco. Arco. <laughs> I have come from a realm that exists in the parallel. Yeah, the parallel to the world that you know. It has called the spirit realm. Is everyone there a ferret? They all sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> Up until now, it has been completely invisible to you as it is to any other. Okay. <laughs> For Aeons. Aeons? Uh, oh. <laughs> for eons, my kind has been served the humans for that's guys. Oh, grandma. <laughs> generations working together, helping those who have perished and gotten lost, becoming spirits. But I'm not dead. Trapped. <laughs> Echoes <laughs> of existence, unable to find the way forward. But I'm not dead. I have given you the ability to perceive the spirit realm. Feel it around you <laughs> by binding my energy with yours in the forehead. So if I die, you die. <laughs> you are now what a my kind calls a bound. A human that is bound to the their <laughs> spirit guy, which I am too. This day in a while. Can I just hit you with my sword? This is crazy. Realms and spirits. And floating ferrets. So 
if you want to put it to that way. Floating ferrets? The spirit realm is like a vow resting on top of the human world. Seems weird. Yes. <laughs> when a human dies but then cannot move on to the afterlife, they can get caught in the vow. <laughs> Their energy gets trapped and thus becomes a spirit or just dead. So you just got stuck and now you're here? There is always a reason to why one ends up this way. I stopped paying attention a while ago. And resolved <laughs> matter from when they were alive. Or the inability to realize one unfortunate fate. So you have to tell them they're dead? In the veil. Our job is here to help those these spirits move on. So uh, did she die in her sleep or something? Nah. Did grandma? <laughs> Maybe. Still don't know how she died. Never found a body. Okay, let's say I believe you. Was she looking for her parents or something? Because she was looking Why off so me? <laughs> Why not just help these spirits or whatever by yourself? Because I'm just a ferret. Why are you calling us the spirits? <laughs> My kind only ever exists as ethereal beings uh, formed out of pure energy. We do not possess a physical body, not even in the spirit realm. That kind of sucks. Let's <laughs> take forever. Therefore, it's impossible for us to make any true difference to the world around us, which makes things complicated. So you're useless. You have a, as a bound. Now have the means to interact with between both realms. Was that grandma? The human world <sighs> and the spirit realm. Our job is to seek out and guide people like you, who we deem fit for the task. And you have displayed a great deal of courage and righteousness, traits that we value throughout your See, life. See, if you just kill a bunch of wasps and the queen wasp, then you can speak to spirits. <laughs> Especially for so for someone as young as yourself. Thirteen. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Then the else can go back to sleep. Yeah. It was very uncommon that we grant this ability to anyone until they've got come age. <laughs> <laughs> but sun has come up. Well, you found grandma? Ariat. <laughs> ah, there is someone who is in dire need of... Spirit and... <laughs> Break the spirit out of them. You talk a lot. Smack the demons out. <laughs> she is waiting for you in the pier. Is it grandma? God dang, I hate him. Is you teleporting? The pier? Oh. Grandma? <laughs> grandma. No, oh, there we go. Darling. You got old. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> wow. They said that they couldn't find a body. <laughs> you. You. There was a explosion, and you're <laughs> still in one piece. Dead. I'm quite aware of it, dear. Mm. Now I'll let you. Too sad for me. What? It was just my time to go. Death is invaluable part of my life part of life and I've already made my peace with it many years back. So you died years ago? Living as old as I have and you start to uh, reflect on things. <laughs> he, he is a sinner. <laughs> he is in hell. <laughs> like he deserves it. <laughs> it's because of your new friend that We've Damn. to meet once again, damn Hondas! <laughs> They're always going in front of my cabin. <laughs> that, um. Ferret. Strange looking thing. Ferret. Look, the ferret. <laughs> it's Arco! <laughs> Arco. <laughs> and who you're calling strange looking? Well, you're the weirdest looking thing in this game. Grandma, why are you here? Shouldn't you be uh, in the ocean? Kind of dead. <laughs> I haven't been able to move on yet. Is it because you're Just old, it's yet. slow, it can't move that fast? 
you see, I have promised to keep to Grandpa for my mother, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Over a decade ago, I promised to leave her our old family ring, just like my mother once gave it to me. See, it's still her mother. Your silver <laughs> ring. That's right. The silver is from the very same mine that's located in the island. This, this island. island. You must go into the cave and craft a Watch, new she's ring. old. She can't say everything you right. You must craft seven rings and give them to the elves and the dwarfs. And the it has been <laughs> in the family for ages. During my last days here, it was lost and I didn't have the chance to come back for it. How did you lose it? Until now. <laughs> I searched high and low and finally managed to find medium to find it. <laughs> Just lying on the ground in the forest side spring. No idea how it got all the way over there. Why did he throw cool, it Cool, grandma. The God. Yet as soon as I reached my hands out in an attempt to pick it up, it was kind of wet and kind of decrepit and weird. Uh, these <laughs> terrible back things... Back broke and she <laughs> fell forward and <laughs> that was the end of her. Terrible things came out when I... <laughs> of nowhere and surrounded me. Oh, they were great. <laughs> I was so frightened that I ran back there, here, and left the ring right where I found it. And it was then I met Arco. You have a long story, girl. Those awful monsters have been after the ring, too. <clears throat> <laughs> I might have <laughs> I just... an idea of what those tall monsters actually were. Stop doing exposition! It's common that <laughs> they would react like that. And Remember when we fought things with swords? Yeah. 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 I am telling you, they came straight for it. Like, bitch, she, it was right there, but I could not pick it up. Those <laughs> guys came up like, <laughs> but thank heavens that, uh, I don't want to read that part. <laughs> Maybe we should go and see if it's still there. Eventually. If what you think is true, isn't it, directed? Got there, we make two so, parts. So, for a whole year, you've been, uh, here. Okay. A year. What are you talking about? You've been dead. I've only been here for a while. I barely died in the back. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> I've been in the cabin for years. You guys never looked in the basement. Yes. <laughs> I screamed for help and none of you even checked. <laughs> don't worry, Grandma. <laughs> we'll get that ring back. I don't want you to get any trouble to... Don't worry, I got a wooden sword. I have Arco here to protect me, even though I don't know what he does. Yeah! <laughs> we'll be back before you know it. Arco, let's go. It's okay, Grandma, I'm 13. Yeah! <laughs> Please, just be careful. Can you give me a weapon? Finally! Can I steal a battle axe? God Okay, dang. go to the right. I'm out of here. Forget telling my parents where I'm going. They don't need to know. Well, it's like three in the morning. They don't care. Uh, Who just... wants some? Uh, God dang, that was a long, long, long Okay, dream. just keep going. You don't need to kill them. Oh, yeah. Just gotta find a way. Yeah. Stop doing fat rolls. Yeah. Oh, there's a bat now. I don't care. And they attack pretty far. Come on! Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. I was interacting with him. Oh, yeah, yeah no a... hearts. Oh, it yeah. was useless. <sighs> okay, just keep rolling. <laughs> just roll away. I don't think you're gonna get any hearts anytime soon. They can't catch you if you're rolling. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta stay up here. Or I'm just gonna go in this. Come on, I was rolling. Uh, you can't stop me. I know how to roll and have a wooden sword. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I gotta avoid them pretty easy. Yeah. Plus, they don't give you anything, so it's not really worth it. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on. Wait, what's. I don't oh, care what's uh, down there. There we go. <clears throat> Yay. 
Wasn't Arco supposed to be helping you or oh, something? I think I made it. Yes! Wait! <laughs> Why? Before we head deeper in the forest, there's something you should know. Uh, you were evil all along. What is it? Go back and tell your parents. <laughs> <laughs> the echoes of those ones who lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. Are there demons? And I'm not talking about my <laughs> kind either. Ferrets. <laughs> kind of. There actually exist many different ethereal entities. entities. Some of them are friendly, even helpful in some ways. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be a rare. So cool. are you a rare Pokemon or something? God! But then there was... There are the... Malevolent kind. We call them Romos. <laughs> Romers. <laughs> Romers. <laughs> okay. They're a vital race. Uh, secret of the, absorbs energy bound by you. Okay, you have to kill them. Cool. The okay, Romers absorb, the, multiply, the, the, ring, like, spirit, realm. they bring disease. You have to kill them all. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so these rovers are the monsters that Grandma was talking about. And they're now all over the forest. Cool. Anyway, to defend against them. No. No. Hold on to your hands. Do I get when a mystical come. powerful sword? <laughs> when they come after us, your wooden toy will be completely uh, keep going. Bad. Power up my sword already. Just become my sword. Oh, okay. Oh, I was drawing something else there. Better sword. Come on, another sword. I will not a bow and arrow or a spear. Or... Trust me, this is the best weapon I've ever job. It is not for any sword. It's actually really quite special. It was what I called a conduit. There's a game called that. Conduits are special artifacts that yeah, connect, connect yeah. every level of existence. Cool. And it makes possibility to direct energy you through me it. like a 4D and object. The Romers conduct the conductors and the, the robots and the grandma. And, and I've the seen it swing around pretty much everywhere. And the wooden and the sword and well, yeah, but swatting a couple of angry wasps is a different thing. Cool. <sighs> you need to trust yourself more and give it a try. Can I kill you with it? Okay, here goes. So close. You have received a spirit sword. Now you can... Uh, means to defend yourself against the rovers. Okay. Cool. No. Nice. Back away. I don't know the grandmother didn't know about it. Grandma used right. the words to have swords like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. And please, call me Harry. Grandma used to have swords near her bed, but <laughs> I used, never told my parents about it. She used it. to just <laughs> swing random things in the forest. Okay, I think we have to do another episode. Come on, oh, from all the reading. Yes. Ah, oh, grandma and her special swords inside her bed. Bye.